Some people may wonder why I love the Finns. It's a fair question. Just look at the place. Flat as a pancake. Nothing really to point the camera at, apart from the odd tree or two on the horizon. The veins of the Finns are these drains and ditches, most of which were dug by the Earl of Bedford's crew in the 17th century, and I have to say without which we'd probably be floating off into the wash right now. They do make quite interesting leading lines though. Much of my childhood was spent fishing in these drains. I used to love coming down here, sometimes with my dad, sometimes with my mates. And it's interesting that now I'm back again with my camera, not catching fish, but trying to capture images of the reflections of trees in this Well Creek River near Upwell. Of course, trees in puddles work just as well. And even kale as a foregrown interest to the tree. It's not unusual to see the fens flooded like this. In fact, this area of the fen was designed to be flooded. However, on a grey, flat, miserable morning, from a photography perspective, I'll admit it, it's not easy. But then you get a sunrise, such as this, at Welsh's Dam near Maney, reflecting gorgeous light through a submerged gate acting as foreground interest, and the sound of the wildfowl waking up in the morning is another good reason to get out with your camera in the fence. And of course at sunset, a few trees standing proud on the flat horizon still offers up a shot. Now no, trees. I'll come back to them. And of course there's the beaches. Well, mud flats here at the wash. Trouble is with these mud flats, although you think they make a nice composition, they actually just look like turds. It is tough. It is very flat and challenging, but there's always a shot or two to be found. The Fens does have its iconic locations, of course, like here at Wiccan Fen near Ely, managed now by the National Trust. This wind pump offers a great subject to shoot in many conditions. But I came down here one cold and frosty winter's morning and blimey it was cold. But the rising sun and the warm glow made a great backdrop to this iconic wind pump. And I really enjoyed myself that morning, breaking the rime and the frost with my feet as I was walking on the broad walks. It's great to be out alone with your camera on mornings like this. The peace and the solitude. Oh, hang on, who's this? Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. There's a lot of characters in the Fens. You'll recognise them, wearing Peterborough United hats and getting mixed up between their windmills and their wind pumps. The key is just to laugh along with them and humour them. They'll get the message. Ah, now back to trees. This is home thing, a place I love. Oh, here he is again, back without his beanie hat trying to disguise himself. Yes, we can see you. He follows me everywhere, this character. But he's good company. And to be honest, I don't blame him for following me this morning. We had gorgeous fog in home Fen. Opened up some really nice conditions with these silver birch trees. Paths leading into the distance cracking morning. I love Homfen in any condition, but in the fog, the place just comes alive. Ah, uh, now, now this was a foggy morning. This is what us locals call a Fen pea super. This was at Wood Walton Fen, part of the Great Fen, as is Homfen, and it was the first time I'd visited this place. Now this is kept and managed as traditional Fen, reed beds, walkways, a whole mixture of trees, silver birch. But this place is just full of wildlife. Walking in here on a foggy morning on your own, just listening to the wildlife is absolutely fantastic. And of course, getting the camera out, taking those classic path images into a foggy distance, 
is just brilliant fun. I couldn't resist this one. These silver birch trees overhanging this pathway, foggy, misty background, beautiful. And of course, there's plenty of fun to be had in the reed beds. Who doesn't love a nice backlit or side lit reed shot? Colour or mono, both work well. And of course, we can't leave Wiccan Fen without giving these conic ponies a shout out. Ponies, of course, not horses, as I called them in the vlog. Very hard to find also, but they make a great subject. A couple of these posing nicely for me with the tree on the right hand side. Black and white, I felt, was better suited. And then, of course, back again to my favourite place, Holmfen. Now it doesn't need mist and fog. These silver birches are great in any conditions. Use the light, pick out some of the older oak trees in the middle of the silver birches. Make great subjects. There's so many compositions to be found in this place. The setting golden sunset light warming the ferns in the foreground and casting some beautiful light on the sides of the silver birch trees, turning them almost a blue colour. Amazing to see and amazing and great fun to capture with the camera. This is a big reason I love the fens. And then finally of course the big skies. It's what the fens is known for. Flat horizons, big skies, sunrises and sunsets, not blocked by mountains, sometimes by a lighthouse, like this one here, St Peter Scott Lighthouse on the edge of the wash. Yes, this is why I love the fens. And I hope this has shown you why there's a few reasons why you might want to love it too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you out again soon, somewhere in the fence.